welcome back to our channel. So today we're going to do a haul. We've um, been shopping around a little bit. We got some stuff from Sephora and we also went to Peebles one day. We have a Peebles near us, maybe about 30 minutes away and we were there and we just went shopping and they had a few things that we wanted. So we're just going to share that stuff with you. So we hope you enjoy. If you hear a bird sound, <laughs> um, it, I got this new toy for my cat and she's playing with it and it plays bird sound. So Sorry yeah. if you hear that. We're going to play music <laughs> over it. Hopefully you don't hear it. Sorry in advance. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Okay, so the first thing I got is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. And I got it in Transylvania. This is a really, this here you can see it in the packaging. This right here is black. And this is actually like the color it is. So it's really dark. But I love colors like this in the winter. And it shears out when you put it on your hand. It's like a dark it's a very vampy color. Here, I'll show you the applicator too. Just like a little soft tip. It's a pretty good applicator. Yeah. I've and already used mine that I got. I haven't used mine, but I just swatched it. But there's the color. It's a really um, vampy color. I really like, there's a NARS one I use, that I got for Christmas last year that I really like. And this is just like a drugstore, I guess, one that you would consider. But I really like it so far. I also got a NYX soft matte lip cream and I got mine in Milan 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 I don't know it's like a pink color I'll swatch it for you I'm wearing that on my lips today I feel like mine's like kind of dry maybe some of them are a little dry so there's the swatch of that I really like the color of this on my lips as you can it looks really pretty Okay, and the next lip color that I got was a NYX matte lipstick. This is basically the same color. It's in the shade Audrey. Or, yeah, Audrey. I didn't know if it was Audrey or Audrey. And I got this for $2.99. It was 50% off because it's broke. So just the little tip hit the top of the thing. So I'm pretty excited about this color, too. It's basically the same. I should have left that swatch of the other one in. There's... Audrey by NYX and then this one's a little bit more pink and then the one below it is Milan Milan, Milan. 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 by NYX the soft lip cream and then I also got another matte lipstick and I got it in the shade Alabama I picked this shade up like three times when I was there when I was looking at shades and I was like well I've picked it up three times like I might as well it's yeah. like a dark orangey red but it's really pretty <laughs> there's a Alabama it's really pretty and that's the NYX matte lipstick I don't know if I should do the packaging I really like the packaging okay, okay and the next thing I got is also a NYX product that's what all the NYX we got at people so if you're looking for a place in West Virginia, it's in Summersville, so go check it out. But I got the NYX Gel Pencil Liner. It's called the Trace Jolie or something like that. But it's like a gel pencil. And I really like it so far. It's just black. I've used it already. It's just like a black eyeliner. But it's really also on the waterline. Like, instead of having to, like, sit there and do it a million times, it's just, like, one swipe. And it's awesome. Wait, and it's tight line? Tight line, waterline, oh, either one. Yeah. But either one, it's really awesome. So, check it out. Okay, so the next, I don't have any more NYX stuff, but the next stuff that I got at Peebles was they had Jane Cosmetics there and um, Tati off of YouTube. I think her page, at the top of it, it says G Glam Life or Glam Guru or something like that. I don't watch her. I'll show you her picture. This is what her page looks like. I love her and she talks, she's talked about Dane Cosmetics before. She really likes their bronzer. So I got their eyeshadow in, it's a shimmer shadow and it's in the shade Mint. Here's the packaging. I had never heard of Jane Cosmetics. Rachel had, and there's I had the shade. It. I really like the imprint. It's like a really pretty flower. And the shade's really pretty. It's got like gold mint. reflex in it a little bit. Green and gold. Yeah, I really like it. And I am trying to get into out of like my nude like pink rut. I don't I don't nude. know if it's a rut, but 
yeah, with, with something me. else I've got, I'll show you in a minute. That's um, another thing. And another thing, like, I am so impressed with this. Like, I cannot tell you how impressed I am with this. And I got this for really cheap at Peebles. It's also by Jane, Jane Cosmetics. And it is a cream eyeshadow. So that's what it looks like in the packaging. It's upside down. It is? No, it's not. Oh. I did that earlier in my tutorial. Scoot it back a little bit. I don't think it's focusing. There we go. Okay. And this is a cream shadow in the shade Copper Shine. It's really pretty. I wish I would have gotten one of these. Like, that's how okay. awesome it is. I like I'm going to try to do this so you can see it. Like, look at that. It's so pretty. And the thing is, I'll show you after it dries a little bit. But like it's super shiny and after it dries I'll show you how awesome. So, so I'll go ahead and talk about my next thing. It's my next thing is not makeup related, but so I got a tangle teaser. This is by I guess Styler? No, no Styler by Tangle Teaser. I don't know. Just show it to him. I don't know. But here it is. I already opened it, so I think it's backwards. But I'll just get it out of here. You got that from Sephora? Yes, I got this from Sephora. It is a hairbrush. It's supposedly supposed to be like really good for your hair. Like it's it's almost like a dog brush. Yeah. But it's like they it says that it doesn't like rip your hair out, it doesn't break your hair. Like most of the time when you're brushing your hair, it's not pulling it out, it's breaking your hair. So these are better and it's I really like it because it's like small and compact for travel. Jane Cream Shadow draws more. I'm going to talk about um, something I just picked up at Walmart when we were there. It is from Flower Cosmetics. Tati also talked about this, the girl that I shared on YouTube. It's the Cream Eyeshadow Color Play Cream Eyeshadow from Flower Cosmetics in the shade. What shade is this in? Oh, CE3 Wild Dreamium. Mm -hmm. And this is like the weirdest textured thing ever. But what show them that? Like that cap thingy. So when you open it, it's like this. And then you open it. And it has like this like thing that you have to pull up. It's really weird. So it's kind of, it's like a mousse almost. Like it's so messy though. Yeah. It's weird. They so, should put that in like a tube or something. Yeah. I don't know. So when you touch it, it's like a mousse. It's almost like ColourPop shadows, but wetter. Really? Like, real much wetter. Like, here. Feel it. I'm gonna swatch it for you. The difference between this and the... Yes! This and the, um, Jane Cosmetics Cream Eyeshadow is the cream eyes the Jane Cream Eyeshadow dries and the flower one doesn't. So this would be like a really good shadow base or something that you just wear on the lid and like really don't have anything else. And I'm not sure if you'd wear this for a long period of time. I'd say it would probably crease and if your eyelids are oily it would go into the lines really bad. Okay so now I'll show you the Jane thing. So it's basic completely dry. Like, literally nothing came off of my finger. No I glitter or anything? Like, no. It's so cool. I mean, a, maybe a little bit came off, but I put a pretty thick layer on. But that that's pretty awesome. Cool. I mean, for that much pigment payoff, I mean, that is amazing. Okay, and then I really like this flower stuff so far. I wish it would dry, but what can you do? If you want to put glitter or something on top of it, this would be a great thing. This is a, a base for glitter to go on top of. Yeah, and this comes from Walmart. Or I got it at Walmart. Drugstore. And then the next thing I got is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I got it in the travel one because when I was doing some research, you actually pay, like when it goes down, like down to the like ounces or whatever or grams, you're actually paying more if you get the bigger, the one? bigger one. Really? So it's better for you to get the littler one. It's more of a That's deal. Crazy. So that's why I got this one. And I really like it. I got it in my Ipsy bag, tried it, loved it, bought it. So, go Ipsy. <laughs> um, the next thing that I got from Sephora was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel. So I have the clear one, but as you guys 
obviously recently know I dyed my hair red. So I wanted something I could wear, like I didn't have to fill in my eyebrows every single day with powder that I could just put this on when I don't have that much makeup on and just go. And give it the red tint. So it's not it as hair. red as I thought it was going to be. I mean, I mean it matches really good though. So this is what it looks it's like. It's in Auburn. Yeah, it's the shade Auburn, sorry. It's like a reddish brown. So I'm really excited to try this. I'll probably try it tomorrow. Yeah. Sorry to do my And then else. the next thing I got, full size because I bought the little one, loved it so much, I'm almost out. These Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. So many people are like, that's just water. You're paying $32 for water. But... I can tell a difference in my makeup when I wear this under my makeup. Like, mm -hmm. I know it sounds crazy, but these two things together, together, or even just this by itself, or this by itself put together, it's like match made in heaven. Well. Yeah, it's awesome. Talk about that. So, sure. the last thing that I got, this isn't the thing that I got, but it's the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. This is the travel one, so this is the original one upside down obviously but that's the travel one and I really really like this one the glitter shades are a little bit chunky but as long as you use like the elf um, that's the original one isn't it yes oh. as long as you use the um, like a spray or something even just water will change it oh but the next so I got this the Smashbox double exposure one it's like the second the one. second one but it's the travel one the little mini one because the big ones are just, I saw it in the store and I was like, you know, I really don't need all of that. So this little one came out and I was like, I don't need that in my life. So there's the packaging. It's the same packaging as the first one. It just has the swipe across of it. And so there's blues, like purples, kind of burgundies and brown. So there's those. I'm so excited. Come back a little bit. I'm so excited to try this. So, so, so excited. I'm jealous of the cool tones. I've been wanting some cool tone shadows. So, again, with so. this, with the same thing with the Jane shadow, this is kind of out of my comfort zone. I mean, it has blues, and mm -hmm. half of it is out of your comfort zone. Yeah, so that I'm really excited about that because I literally never wear anything like that. But also, it doesn't have is it like chunks of glitter here. I don't know if you can. Uh, yeah, the bottom was... row. This row, the bottom row is very chunky glitter. So I'm really excited that these that are not. very subtle glitter. Yes, I'm very happy pretty. that those aren't like that. And these ones, the same with the big one, it's they're supposed to change. Each shade is supposed to change with water. And this also, oh, oh. So the these ones on the Smashbox, the double exposure, that it actually has the names of the colors and on the original one it just has shimmer one shimmer two shimmer three shimmer four That's so weird. i really like this so far the labeling on the back I'm so excited to try this i'm so excited <laughs> i swatched it and it swatched beautifully can i swatch it now i'll swatch it i'm not gonna talk more about whatever i was just looking at my the little tangle teaser that i got and it's got like, it's like little short rows and then long rows. Short rows, long rows. That's really cool. I'm really excited to use this. But you can get it in different packaging. Like I got the cheetah print. And you can get it in like pink and black and different ones. The last three things I'm going to talk about were the samples that I got with the R Sephora order. But I'm really, these are really awesome samples. The first sample and the, probably the one that I'm most excited about is this Glam Glow one. I love Glam Glow. I love it. It is so expensive, but it, it is amazing. Like, it literally changed my life with, like, my facial stuff. I use the, the one in the green pot. I don't even know what it's called. But it's, like, it's the one you're supposed to use, like, once a week for, like, makeup buildup and stuff. And it literally, if I don't use it, my face breaks out so bad. If I don't use it, like, once a week, like I'm supposed to, I break out. But I'm excited to use this. This one is the Youth Cleanse Daily Exfoli Exfoliating Cleanser. I don't, I don't, I honestly wouldn't buy any of their like day to day things because it's so expensive. But the one I have, it um, is just a mask that you use once a week, and they are expensive. I will tell you, they are really expensive. But once you do it and you finally have it, 
Like, it's awesome. So, go into Sephora, get yourself a sample of one of the Glam Gloves and use it. So, I'm excited to use this. Do you want to go ahead and do your... Yeah, so the swatches, the first row is the first four, so... I don't know. Yeah. So, the first one, starting on this side and going over, first is silver, then peony, quartz, veiled, and then the second row, starting with the darkest one, is midnight. That one looks almost black when you swatch it, but it's just a really dark blue. Haze, copper, then espresso. So, I really like those. They swatch really well. So excited to draw these. Yes. Okay, and then back to the samples I got. You always get three samples with any Sephora order, so it's pretty cool. But the la uh, One of the things I got is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo, and I already use this, but this is in a different color. This is in soft brown, and I think I have dark brown. Yeah, but this one I think is soft brown. So it'll, if I want like some not as dark brows, I can just use that one day. And then the last thing I got is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer Primer. This is the hydrating one. Mm -hmm. But of course, I like the hydrating ones because my skin is pretty dry. But I'm really excited about them. They have, one, two, three, four, five, ten. They have 10 of them. That's a, that's a lot of primers. But this one is the hydrating one, so I'm excited to use that. And the sample that I got, we just kind of split them. But the sample that I got is the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Original. To me, this is holy grail. I use it all the time. The one from Wet n Wild, to me, is just as good. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We will probably be using this stuff soon in tutorials. So um, let us know how you guys like this stuff. If you have any of this stuff. And we'll try to let you know how we like this stuff as we continue using it. We'll see you in our next video. Bye! Bye.